video is to show you how to do the dissolved oxygen demand test included in the Lamont kit. First thing you'll need is the small one of the small glass test tubes included in your kit. You'll then want to open your sample container that has your test water. Go ahead and dip your vial in there and fill it all the way to the top. You don't want any oxygen in there besides what's already in the water. Now, you'll take your aluminum foil and wrap the uh, container to make sure no light can get to the water. We want to stop all oxygen producing um, mechanisms like photosynthesis. We want to only measure what oxygen is being used up in here over the time period we let it sit. So we're going to put this away for five days. We will not measure the oxygen content for five days. After that, after the five days, you'll unwrap your container and get ready to measure the oxygen content. We want to see how much oxygen was used up by the microorganisms contained in the water. That is the demand, the oxygen demand of the water. You can see it doesn't look any different. It looks just like we put it in there. You'll need some dissolved oxygen test tablets. That's the packet that says DO on it for dissolved oxygen. You'll uncap your vial and grab your tablets. You'll need two of these. I broke one of them, so we're not going to use that. Alright, I have my two test tablets. I'm ready to put them into my vial. Alright, got them in there. I'm going to cap it. Now I'm going to mix it until the test tablets dissolve, inverting it side to side and up and down. Just kind of turning it over. Now I want to let it sit for five minutes to let the color develop after the tablets are dissolved. Once the five minutes are up and the color is fully developed, we will grab the test tube and compare it to our color chart. Okay. <laughs> we'll use the dissolved oxygen colors on the left, 0, 4, 8 parts per million. It looks like we're closest to 4 again, so we're going to... Uh, we started with four parts per million, and we still have four parts per million, so our oxygen demand was zero parts per million. This video was created by the National Great Rivers Research and Education Center. Thank you for watching.